head coach for Newburgh High School in Oregon, just north of Corvallis, so actually in between Salem and Portland. Coach uh, Neil Russo. Coach Russo, first off, you're back at the alma mater this week for training camp, Fargo training camp. How many, uh, how's the uh, turnout this year for, how many kids you guys got going? I think we've got about 40 kids going to Fargo with our, our junior team. Uh, they've worked hard all week long, good, good group, no problems, so uh, everybody's anxious to break camp and get home, but we had a good camp. All right. Uh, is the economy affecting the numbers this year? I think so. I, I, I'm sure it is in Oregon and, and other places. I know in Ohio country. it is. I know in Ohio um, it is. You know, and I, I think that combined with the, the fact that there are so many opportunities for kids all spring and all summer long, uh, that they're having to pick and choose where they're going to spend that money. And, and for a lot of families, I don't know that Fargo is the place that they want to want to invest that. But I, I still think it's a great trip for kids. And um, I, I think most of the kids that should be there are going to be there. Do you try and encourage uh, Newburgh, your Newburgh athletes to try and get on the team and go to Oregon or go yeah. to Fargo? Yeah, we do. We work hard to get the kids that, that want to go to Fargo to go. And, and we have we actually have three kids this year who are not going for for various reasons, one of them a little bit financial, who are returning All-Americans. So in, in that regard, it's a little bit disappointing to not have those kids there, but I still have six or seven kids that are uh, going between the juniors and the cadets. All right, I said earlier you're the best team in Oregon. You guys won the big division. Uh, you didn't seem to think that, that was the truth, but you guys won the big division. Okay, you're kind of battling back and forth with Roseburg, correct? We were the best team the third week in February, I guess, when it counted. Um, you know, they Roseburg has won the, had had won the previous two uh, 6A tournaments. Uh, I think they were poised to win it again this year, but. Um, you know, we, we had a great tournament, and um, they'll be back next year, and so will we. And, and there are other great programs in, in the state of Oregon, but we, we finally got one. It's been a while uh, at Newburgh, but it was a good weekend. <laughs> All right, Coach. You guys, something kind of surprised me. You and the Roseburg coach were sitting next to one another watching the Orange Crush practice. Uh, would you say that the you guys are a little more friendly to one another here as opposed to maybe Pennsylvania or New Jersey or Ohio? I, I don't know what goes on in those other states. Uh, I, Coach Lander and I are, are great friends. We were teammates here at Oregon State. Um, I believe I have spent more nights in a room with him this summer than with my wife. Uh, we've spent the entire we've been this is our third camp. Uh, we took a team to Pocatello earlier in the summer. Uh, we spend a lot of time together. Um, our families vacation together. We went on a cruise last spring. Uh, we hunt. We fish. Uh, you know, we do all kinds of things t t together. He and I and our, our families. Uh, when our teams are competing or our wrestlers are competing, it's you know it's life and death, uh, cutthroat. But out outside of that, we have a, a great relationship. In the spring and the summer. Um, I coach his wrestlers, he coaches my wrestlers, we travel together, our kids travel together. Um, he coaches my son, uh, I coach his sons. And so, uh, you know, I, I think we, we have a, a, something that's probably a little bit rare. Um, I think it's good for our kids, I think it's good for his kids, uh, and, and I think he thinks the same way. And so, in that regard, it's, it's kind of a strange thing, I guess, people would... Um, People who see us in, in battle would probably be surprised to, to see the things we do together socially and, and with our families, but wouldn't have it any other way. Does it get difficult sometimes when you guys are in like a, like maybe the state semifinals this year and you might have head-to-head -head guys or finals or whatever it may be, that tension and wanting to win so bad, do you think that ever puts a strain on the friendship? I, th I think that both of us do a really good job of leaving that where it is, um, yeah, it, it gets uh, a little bit stressful and a, a little bit tenuous, but uh, like I said, it, we, we've never had a problem, you know, and there are some things that we just don't talk about, uh, <laughs> and we just leave it at that, and, and I think he would tell you the same thing, but yeah, we had some battles, we had some battles at the, at the state tournament this year, we had some battles during a dual meet, we've had some great duels and some great individual matches uh, over the last few years, and um, you know, we enjoy competing against each other. He wants to beat 
me and I want to beat him. Um, but, you know, when it's all said and done, it stays there, and I, I think that's pretty good. Who won the duel between you guys? They won it this year. Would you have rather had that duel or that, that tournament title? Uh, this year we'll take the tournament title. <laughs> we'll take the tournament title. Well, I like it, man. I think we're kind of, I like, we, we can have something to build towards. Maybe uh, yeah. maybe this future rivalry, people can check it out here on the West Coast, <laughs> man. I'm, that's so, you're creating some excitement, man, but not, not the bad blood type, but no, excitement, no, I, nonetheless. I, I, not at all. I think it's a healthy competition. And like I said, our our kids are the same way. Our, our wrestlers, um, they spend time together at, at camps and on, on trips, and they're friends, and, and they know each other socially outside of wrestling. Um, and they compete hard when, when the time comes, but they're able to put that aside as well. And I, th I think partly because it's modeled by, by Steve and myself, and um, I, I think it's good. I think it's good for wrestling. Okay, yeah, out here in Oregon, okay, it's a, a lot of traveling. A lot of traveling because it's such a big state. Do you think that that uh, affects the level of competition amongst maybe how many times you guys get to see a really good team? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I, I think we're, uh, we're a little bit hamstrung with, with the distance and the budget constraints that are, are put on us now uh, in terms of travel. Um, you know, I, I think there are quality quality teams in 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 Oregon. There are definitely quality individuals, um, but I, I also think that we do a pretty good job. Uh, most many programs of like Roseburg goes to the Clash. Uh, we went to the Reno Tournament Champions, and there are other other uh, Oregon programs that are going there and going to the Sierra Nevada, and we have a pretty good couple of tournaments here in the in the state of Oregon where we try to get the best together but um, it, it has it being a, a spread out state I'm sure has its drawbacks in that regard but when are we going to see you guys at the Ironman I you know I I had a couple of teams that I wish I had taken to the to the Ironman or to a couple of those tournaments back east um, I'm gonna have to put some put some wins together here <laughs> we're ready to go out there all right, last one. I'm gonna let you off the hook. Probably the worst question I can ask you, but who's gonna win the 2010 big division title in Oregon? Well, I I think that the the favorite has to be Roseburg, unless that coach screws it up. <laughs> it's his to lose. <laughs> All right, Coach Russo. Hey, thanks for the time. And now I'm gonna try and get some uh, some Dale Thomas stirs out of you. Okay.